Now, COVID-19 has underscored the critical importance of our parks and public spaces to help Windsor residents remain active and support mental health during the pandemic. And that's why I'm pleased that Council unanimously approved my plan to advance the construction activity of these 32 playgrounds citywide. From Lake Laguna Park in Ward 1 to Brookview Park in Ward 10 and every ward in between, no ward was left behind in our playground replacement program. Now in the past, the playground was a simple installation of swings and monkey bars built around a sand pit, but today uh, they're much, much different. They have rubber floors, they are accessible, they are visually more appealing, and they're certainly more engaging and interactive uh, with each other for the kids that use these playgrounds. They're exciting new structures, uh, better than they used to be and more inclusive. Today we have a web page going live that will identify all the 32 playgrounds for everybody to, to take a look at. It helps to give some nice visuals of what a small, medium and large new accessible playground will look like. A key component of the web page and the program is the public consultation for us. So what will occur is today with that web page going live, for the next three weeks we are asking all of the residents of the City of Windsor to please log into the web page, go to each one of the 32 playgrounds, complete the consultation. It really helps us to craft uh, playgrounds that are individually tailored to each one of the parks in each uh, community area. So certainly something that we, we want to make sure that the public has that opportunity and we'd like to see that uh, consultation come back.